Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrystreetcottage.net here today with another version of Cricut Basics. So, what are Cricut Basics? Cricut Basics are small, short little videos that cover one aspect of Cricut Design Space. So, around my blog on thecountrystreetcottage.net, I share a ton of free SVG files. So, I wanted to do a series of how to upload those SVG files to Cricut Design Space. So, today we're going to talk about using a Windows computer to upload the SVG files to Cricut Design Space. So, we've done one of these videos already. So I've already done uploading SVGs on iOS devices like your iPhone or iPad. Now, if you want that video, check. There's a link in the description for this video or leave a comment and I'll get that for you. So it was a past edition of Cricut Basics. Today is SVGs on, the, on a Windows computer and here we go, here's how to upload them. So start by signing up for the SVG files. Now this will be done a variety of ways depending on where you're getting it. However, this one was emailed to me and I received the email and then I just clicked to download it. So before you click that button, make sure that you know where your downloads are going. So whatever you, whenever you download something off the internet, just make sure you know what folder it's going into and then you can allow it to download to that folder. Then you'll open it from the folder, and in this case, it's a zip file, so I want to unzip it before I can put it into Cricut Design Space. So I unzip the folder, and in this case, I have a JPEG, a ping, and an SVG. So I'm going to copy the SVG file, and I'm going to paste it somewhere where I can find it. So I'm going to paste it into the folder SVG. Once it's pasted in, I can open up Cricut Design Space, and I can open a new project. Once I've opened a new project, I just click Upload, click Upload Image, and then I can browse to find the SVG file that I just unzipped. So you can't upload the actual zip file, but you can upload the SVG that you unzipped. So then we can click on that SVG file to upload it. And then there's a few options on this next screen. So you can change the title of the image so the image name you can add tags however you need to remember it you can do that here and then you click save now once you click save it saves it to your upload so you can make a variety of projects with this image at any time because it will be saved in your uploads on Cricut Design Space but then you just need to click it and click insert then it inserts it onto your canvas and from there you can do whatever you want to with it so you can resize it you can cut it um, out from different materials. You can even say I wanted to make these stars a different color than the words. I also have a video on how to do that. And you can find the link for that video in the description for this video. So there's how you upload SVGs on a Windows computer. So it's pretty easy. You can find free SVGs, like I said, on thecountrystreetcottage.net. I'll leave a link in the description for this video for an email list and you can sign up and get emails all about our, my free SVG files every month. If you also search all around the internet, there's all kinds of other free SVGs I'm sure you can find, plus there's those that you can purchase. If you're looking for something specific and SVG file is really the way to go, it's kind of the best file for um, uploading to Cricut Design Space. I also have a post on what an SVG file is and why it is better than like a JPEG or ping like a picture file when uploading to Cricut Design Space. You can find the link for that in the description below as well. So give us a thumbs up if you like this video, if it helped you. You can also leave a comment below thanking us or with questions. If questions about what we did, questions about anything I've said, questions about where you can find the links, leave those below. You also should subscribe on YouTube. So you can head to our YouTube channel, you can scroll down to Cricut Basics, you can watch all the past series, we've done these for over a year now. Or you can subscribe to YouTube so that you get notifications whenever a new Cricut Basics series or any of our videos go live because you love Cricut Crafts, right? We have those as well. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will be back next week. Thanks, bye.